All right, this is my first podcast video, whatever you want to call it, but I'm recording myself and I'm starting now because I just seen a video that said to start now because there's always excuses tomorrow. Excuse me, always excuses tomorrow. They said, uh, you don't know what can happen tomorrow, tomorrow, this, that, and the other. Da, 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 da. It's true, so I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to make a little podcast right now. Because I was thinking today, shit, I think I look, she should start a podcast. I was like, I'd be talking a lot. I'd be talking a whole lot. And I'd be saying shit that I really feel like the world needs to hear. And I'd be just saying it to the homies. Niggas don't even listen to me half the time. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to start a podcast, bro. Because I want somebody to listen, bro. I have a lot to say. I went to the gas station yesterday. And I filled up and it was, um, I filled up and then I was coming back home and it was some dude driving crazy or whatnot. And I was like, shoot, I mean, I'm already close to home. I was like, I'm not going to waste gas and follow this dude or get off on the freeway. I'm I'm, I'm just going to go home and I just hear sirens, but sirens on sirens on sirens on sirens. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck? I thought it was a, I thought it was a cop chase. I thought they were after that boy. I was like, yeah, they got his ass or something, bro. He going crazy. Come to find out, a police officer was shot, dead. And I guess it was a police chase or whatever. They're chasing the guy that shot him. And, you know, it was just cop guards left and down, up and down the street. Like it was crazy. I thought it was, I knew it was something happened for sure, but. I wake up the next day, and it's somebody on their story. I'm not going to say who. They talking about some, oh, you don't know what it's like. Or people don't know what it's like to have a family member who who risks their life every single day, who's who's in the forest, who actually has to deal with this kind of stuff, and, and you don't have that fear. I'm like, bro, how ignorant could you be? We don't know what it's like. We're black. We have brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers that deal with this shit on the daily, bro. Friends that deal with this shit on the daily. What the fuck are you talking about? And my thing is this motherfucker chose to be a cop. Rest in peace to him. I'm sorry for his family condolences. I'm not a devil. I don't completely hate cops, but I do have no remorse for them. Why? Because they have no remorse for us. That's why. Because a cop will kill me today, that nigga will get suspended and he'll be back in a week. And niggas gonna say RIP me, Black Lives Matter for a month. Remember my name for a couple days and that's it. But him, he gets to enjoy his life, live his life and stay with his family. Me, trauma for the rest of my family and I'm dead. So no, I don't feel no remorse for cops. Because it ain't fair. It don't go both ways. They don't go both ways. That's something I don't understand. It's never gone both ways. So don't try to tell me that I don't understand what it's like. You don't understand what it's like. And she was Caucasian to make it even worse. You don't understand what it's like. I don't know if I'm going to walk out today, drive today, if I might get pulled over and shot for what being black. And like I said, he chose to be a police officer. He went, trained, decided to do this as a career. I was born black. Not a choice. Not my brother's choice, not my family choice, not my... No, it's nobody's choice, bro. You're born that way. And you have to deal with that shit. I gotta find a different angle, bro. I need a cooler angle or something. Yeah, but I'm finna start doing this shit every day, bro. Podcast. Because, shit, that might be the way to make it out, bro. I think niggas gonna like listening to me, bro. I don't know how to set up a podcast. So I'm gonna start setting up, start doing podcasts and shit. Because I like that. I really do. I don't know why I never thought of that. I was like, I'm gonna start... Making music, da da. I'ma start, you know, rapping, making music, um, making beats, uh, all that stuff. I wanna make music videos, all that good stuff. I want to eventually open a label, and um, create opportunity for plenty and hundreds and thousands of young artists, young artists, young gifted artists. And I don't need no motherfuckers on my label who are already rich, who are 40, 50 years old. Unless they gonna help me help young artists, I don't need them motherfuckers. I don't need no 30 year olds. I don't need no 20 plus year olds. And I don't need nobody telling me what the fuck is possible or what to do, what not to do with my life. Because 
at this point in time, nigga, we in a matrix and you got to you got to live your life your own way. You got to build your own patterns and your own ideals and just do it all yourself. Because, nigga, everything nowadays, everything as you see it was all an idea. It all came out of somebody's mind. So how the fuck are you going to tell me that my ideas are not valid? They're my ideas. Priceless. I came up with them. That's something you can never take away from me. So I'm trying to tell me shit. <laughs> Feel me? But anyways. Yeah. I need to find a new angle for this. See what I'm saying? I'll be talking about some regular ass shit. And then I just switch the topic completely. Like I'm talking about something completely different. That's why I think podcasting shit is for me, bro. Even if it's not my main career. Even if that's not going to be my main goal to be... Uh, one of the best podcast niggas, the top pod. I don't care. I really don't. I just, I just have a lot to say, and I feel like, might as well say that shit. Might as well let somebody hear it. Got a bump on my fucking nose ring, bro. Somebody let me know how to get rid of that shit. But yeah, this is my first official podcast ever, and I'm gonna continue doing this shit. I need to make a music video. Uh, not a music video, my bad. I need to make a video on YouTube. I need to revive that channel because I said I was going to revive that channel this month. I slept on that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I slept on that. But, shoot, I'm sober right now. I smoke a whole lot to let you know I really do. It's not like I smoke weed 24-7, thought I'd have known. But uh, the cards and shit, I always got a card on me. Always. So, yeah, that's money I've been wasting. I'm one of those. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry if it disappoints you. But, yeah, I'm addicted to cards. I've been smoking them motherfuckers for, like, two years now. Maybe less, maybe more, but I used to smoke them before. I took a break for seven months, got back on them. I'm still on them right now. And I and I'd say, I think it's safe to say, because I'm a grown-ass man, bro. I'm not grown as fuck. I'm 18 years old, and I'm not saying I'm not a grown-ass 25-year-old. Man, I, I still got learning to do, maturing to do, but I'm mature enough to take accountability for myself and let you know, yes, I'm addicted to them shits, bro. I'm not going to beat around the fucking bush and say I can quit at any time because I can't. If I quit tomorrow, I'm going to want to smoke that shit tomorrow. I'm going to look for that shit. Simple. And I don't know if I need to let that go in order to further my process of, you know, building myself. But maybe I do because, look, I put that shit down for the day and, look, I'm already doing my first podcast. I haven't done something like this in a while. It's, it's been a while since I did something that's, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but something that's risky, I can say. Because people are scared to do things that are risky. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a podcast, that's risky. There's hundreds of podcasts out there. There's a lot of people who are better than you. There's a lot of people who have more views than you. Maybe somebody won't even listen to you. Da, da, da. All those thoughts, right? I didn't even listen to them. I didn't even pay no mind to them. I just said, fuck it, I'm going to start recording because what have I been doing? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know if the mic on here is better, if the mic on my headphones better. I'm going to keep the mic on there, though. But yeah, I didn't hit none because I be getting a headache midday, bro. Swear to God. I be getting smacked as fuck. I have a good time for like an hour. The rest of the day, I'm just literally surviving the day. That shit sucks. Headache. You just don't want to be there no more. Your social battery runs all the way down. Dreamville. I need to give y'all a better view, bro. I don't know what to do. But yeah, that's just how I feel. I'm not even going to lie. I need to fill that wall up a little bit more. I think this is a better angle for sure, but... Yeah, I have a whole setup. It's a mess right now. I ain't gonna show that shit, but I mean, I should, bro, because shit, people are gonna like seeing that. You know what I'm saying? If I show my setup, my room, I start sharing my life with you guys, people might like that. I never know. You never know. But I'm gonna post this shit, bro. I don't care if this shit's embarrassing, dog. I don't care if niggas don't watch it. I don't care if niggas don't like it. I'm gonna post this shit because I told myself I was gonna revive my YouTube channel before the year ended. It might be the last day of the fucking year tomorrow, but I'm gonna post this shit and I'm gonna revive my YouTube channel. I'm gonna post podcasts maybe every day, go live every day. I might switch to Instagram, switch to TikTok and go live and just start talking my shit. But I'm gonna talk my shit, bro. I'm gonna talk my shit because I got a lot of shit to talk. And them niggas, it's, I'm ready. I'm ready to break the matrix. My third eye is more than open. And I hope a lot of you guys out there do the same thing because your third eye is so important. And matter of fact, I'm finna open my mouth now. I'm really finna open my fucking mouth because I think this is this is bigger than it seems. Right now, I'm just recording in my room, off my phone. Nobody's watching me. Nobody's listening to me. Nobody's hearing me talk right now besides myself and maybe my siblings outside. Who knows? Because that's the only people at the house right now. But this is bigger than that. This video will never leave existence. This video will for forever exist. 
right? And I have no idea where this video could possibly take me. It could take me nowhere or it could take me to the moon, okay? And all I know for a matter of fact is that, is that this video is already doing so much for my life because I needed this boost. I've been at a stagnant point for quite a while now, I'm not going to lie. I was out in Washington for, I say, six, five months. I had got... Uh, I had got into two car accidents out here in California. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it was probably back in May this year. Uh, the first time I got in a car accident was my own car that my mom had gave to me. I was such a little spoiled nigga. Little ass spoiled nigga. I'm telling you. My mom gave me that shit. She gave me that car. It was a Nissan Altima 2017 brand new car. I know. Neck me. I know. I know. I know. So yeah, I fucked that car up. It was still drivable. I literally only fucked up like... Probably like the bumper frame, like literally a little, like I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I hit a curb, like on some shit. It wasn't a curb. Hard to explain. I don't feel like explaining this shit, but it wasn't, I didn't hit nobody. I hit something. So it wasn't that bad. The car was good. Insurance took it, total loss. Car never was seen again. Supposedly we got money for it in return, but mm, car was never seen again. The next week, I was taking my siblings to school. On the way back from school, I'm literally, and I'm not exaggerating, on my street, Sherman Avenue, Moreno Valley, I was making a turn, left turn onto my street, and a Jeep macked the fuck out of me. That Jeep is probably fine right now. It probably just needed a new oil from pan or some shit, bro, because he leaked a shit ton of oil. But me? Oh, my God. My mom's brand new Volkswagen was trash, my nigga. Total. Total. And that, bro, shifted everything, my whole life i would not be right here today speaking right now if that shit didn't happen i would not be who i am right now i would not look how i look i would not think how i think i would not act how i act i promise you bro my life would not be how it is right now for that car crash it didn't happen but it happened and at that point in my life bro a week span i was just recovering from the last one i was like you know i gotta leave bro working cutting it no more they cutting my hours i'm working two days out the week i'm not even doing school uh, i haven't graduated school yet I'm like, nah, I'm like, this shit ain't it, bro. I just broke, my bitch just broke up with me, like, on some shit. I was head spinning, bro, head spinning. I was like, nah, I gotta go. I was like, I gotta go. And my uncle had already told me, hey, come out to Washington. I got work out here, you know, come out here for a little bit. Like, let's see how it is for you. If you don't like it, you can leave. If you like it, then better for you. I'm like, all right. He's like, come out here for two months, just two months, try it out. I go out there for two months. I'm like, yeah, I need that. I need time away. I, two months, fuck it. That's only two months. I had a cat too at that time. I had to give her away because she was really bad and my mom couldn't keep up with her. She, she just couldn't. We had two other pets and money-wise, I wasn't really sending her too much money for the cat. That's my own fault. And the cat was not, uh, what is called, neutered. So the cat was pissing all over the house type shit, all types of shit. So we had to give the cat away to somebody else. So I miss that cat. But Tani, I love her to this day with my whole heart. Broke my heart that we had to give her away. But... I think it was better off letting her live a happier life with somebody else who give her the attention she needs than just be here at the house with like, you feel me? Nobody, nobody taking care of, nobody watching her. People just yelling at her, telling her not to do this, not to do that. Don't go outside. I, I taught the poor cat to go outside. I used to take her outside. Like if she was a dog, why? Because she's an animal. Because I feel like animals deserve that. It's the bare minimum. There, it's a, it's a whole free world outside. And you think it's okay for a dog or a cat to just be inside of a fucking house or in a backyard all day? You really think that's cool? Come on, bro. You really think that's cool that an animal, a poor animal that is literally born to live, to eat the same food every single fucking day, bro. The same little kibble every day, my nigga. You don't even eat the same McDonald's twice in the same fucking week, nigga. You don't even eat the same leftovers your mom made. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit just... I don't know, bro. People are so fucking insensitive when it comes to animals, I feel like. But anyways, besides that... I did have a cat at the time. I, 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 I had friends at the time that I didn't want to leave. Uh, my city, of course, my family. I was like, shit. It's, it was rough. It was rough. But I was like, I almost even didn't come. But I was like, you know what? I got to do it. I got to go. Uncle already put a word out to his boss. He's already expecting me. I can't be a bitch. I got to go. So I go. I go to Washington. And I'm in Washington or whatnot for, I'd say, five and a half months. I probably worked like five, five solid half, five months solid out there. 
because the last month that I was there, I didn't really work in November. I came back in November. I came back exact day, the 23rd, I believe, the day before Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I came back in November. I didn't really work all of November. I worked one day out of November. It was so fucking tough, tough, because it started snowing out there. And out there, you basically, you we would do drops, and we would do directional drilling, a horizontal drilling. So, um, we need... To be under the ground if the ground's frozen if the ground's covered in snow we can't work so you know yeah it was just tough but yeah i was i was out there for like five months i worked worked my ass off worked like fucking 100 something hours every two weeks probably like 50 60 hours in a week like i'm not lying to you the shortest work week we had was probably like 40 something hours and that's a regular work week for most of these adults i was making i'd say I'd say I was making like around 2k in a good a good check and good two weeks if I had per diem because if for y'all that know what per diem is that's when you go when you get paid for how many days you're out or whatnot it's it's easier to explain than it sounds but if I go stay in a hotel for work for two nights my boss is gonna pay me $120 60 for each night that I stayed out of town that's how per diem is how it works so with a good per diem check, if I went out of town, let's say fucking six days out of that week or whatever, I put up four numbers when I said six, my bad. But yeah, if I fucking work uh, six days or whatnot, like nigga, and out of town, and then I get paid for working, like I say, 100 hours that week, I'm getting a cool $2,000 check for sure, for sure. But if not, if I'm not going out of town, 1700 something like 1600 1800 you know what I'm saying? The checks was like that. Good checks, bro. I was making good money. But... My mom, okay, so I'm I'm decided I'm going to Washington. I go to Washington. I'm thinking I'm going to go out there for two months. And I was all in my head. I don't know what I thought money grew on trees, but I somehow thought, hey, yeah, I'm going to make a shit ton of money to buy a new car in the time that I'm out there. And I'm, I'm going like, to be good. Nigga, I get out there and my uncle, my mom, and my other uncle call me. And they're like, yeah, you're going to have to pay your mom $12,000 back for the car you crashed because she's still in debt to me because my uncle sold the car to my mom. So my mom still has to pay my uncle. So my mom, my uncle's like, yeah, no, it's not sliding. You got to help her. I'm like, bro, 12K in two months? They're like, yeah, of course you're not going to make 12K in two months. We have a plan for you. Let's see if you can make it two years. And they wanted me to just build a whole budget, da -da -da -da, do all this bullshit, and pay my mom either $500 or $1,000 a month while whatever, working it out the rest of myself, budgeting myself and paying my uncle 200. So that was the money thing. And I would have had nothing to myself except for food, the fucking gym and stupid shit like that. I was like, huh? So I'm not going to have my own stuff till when? Two years? He was like, well, yeah, da -da -da. bro, I'm sorry, but I'm about to be 18 years old. I need a car. I'm not going to be 18 and 19 years old paying off a debt till I'm 20 to build a new debt and then finally have a car at 20 years old. I'm not doing that, bro. I was like, it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. I was like, okay, well, as long as you can figure it out and work it out, then that's all, that's all that matters. Solid. All right, solid. I worked there the first month. Didn't send my mom nothing. I'm going to be dead ass honest. And then the next month, my mom calls me and we were low-key not on good terms because we just... It was like little arguments we would have over st like stuff like the cat or or little stuff like that. Or me going out. Like she was mad one time that I went out with my cousin to his house. I went to his house on a Saturday because we wanted to play the game and smoke. And she was upset talking about, why are you going out? You, you, did you ask your uncle for permission? You, you're not over there to have fun. Da -da -da. I'm like, hold on. Cause I'm not a kid anymore. I'm not. I'm not fucking fifteen or sixteen. I'm grown as fuck. I work every fucking day out of the week except for Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes only Sunday I get day off. So you tell me I can't go kick it with my cousin on a Saturday? What do you mean? Like you're not even here? I was like, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure you're bugging on that. I was like, I'm not a little princess that's just gonna be in a fucking tower locked up all the time. I, I didn't come over here. To be on this bullshit. I came over here because I wanted to. Because I wanted to. So why are you going to tell me what I can and can't do? Shit threw me off. We had an argument over that or whatnot. Ended up figuring that out. But at the end of the day, I didn't hold no resentment towards my mom. 
because whatever whatever she was feeling, it was all because she was just struggling to accept the fact that I'm growing up and she has to treat she not treat me different but raise me different now. I'm not the same little kid, so she can't raise me how she would raise my 13 year old brother or my eight year old sister. She's having a tough time understanding that and transitioning to me transitioning to an adult. So she was having a tough time with that. I understood that. I'm a very understanding person, I promise you. That don't mean I'm a great person. That don't mean I'm a beautiful person. That don't mean I'm always going to fucking suck your nuts. That just means I'm understanding. I will sit here and listen to your point. Without talking shit, without, cut, without cutting you off, without having it go in one ear and out the other, I learned a lot in this time. And I also learned a lot from my last relationship that it takes a lot of understanding not communication. You can communicate all the fuck you want. I'm good at communicating somewhat. The weed low-key fucked a little bit of it up, but I'm good at communicating. That don't fucking matter if you can't listen. It does not fucking matter. If you can't listen, nobody's going to listen to you. And if you can't listen, nobody will appreciate you or care for you or love you. And that's extreme, but I will. I promise you we'll get to that point. I promise you. You got to listen to people. If you don't listen to people, you won't understand them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it took me some time. It took her some time to adjust. And I'd say the second month in, I'm like, you know what? I'm fucking up, bro. I'm fucking up. I was like, I got to save my mom money. And I wasn't even saving for my car. Niggas, I was like, yeah, I'm going to save a car. Three months, three months. I'm going to have $5,000, $6,000. On some dumb shit, nigga. Like, yeah, no, nigga. That wasn't saving shit, just blowing it like a dumbass on food. And I'm telling you, bro, I had my first check, $1,700. That shit wasted in like less than two weeks, bro. Because my stupid ass did not know how to budget, bro. Because every time I would go out for to work, bro, every day I would go out, bro, to work, gas station, spending at least 20 bucks, my nigga, and throughout the day. Add that up, bro. 20 bucks in five days, that's $100 alone at the gas station, nigga. And plus all the food that you're spending, because we're going out to eat every day. We're not eating at the house. It's me and my uncle at the trailer. And my nigga Julio is in his fucking other... He's living with his dad, nigga. He lived with his dad in the other trailer. Who the fuck is going to cook, nigga? Not me. We didn't even have groceries, nigga. We didn't even know how to shop. So, you know, damn well, every day we're eating McDonald's, Atilano's, shit like that, man. Mexican food, Atilano's, what it's called. Atilano's, fucking Subway some days, nigga. Jack's. All the time, bro. That shit adds up. That shit adds up. So I was stupid, bro. Spending money left and right like a dumbass nigga. Didn't give a fuck. And I was like, you know what, bro? Nobody's going to save me. Who the fuck going to save me? Nobody. And I was like, Nick. Because honestly, I'll get to that point maybe in another video or later on how I almost wanted to hit licks, bro. I'll get to that later, but... Yeah, bro. I was like, I gotta, I gotta wake the fuck. I was like, what's wrong with me? I had a lot of realizations out in Washington, and my mind switch switches, mindset switches, and everything, bro. Like a lot, a lot of it. But yeah, bro. I was like tripping, fool. So I started sending my mom a thousand dollars every second check I would get. So I get two checks in a month, right? Because it's four weeks, split in half, two weeks for each check, two checks. All right. One of them goes to my mom, a thousand dollars, and the rest is for me to spend. And one of them goes to me, $1,000 to my car, and the rest is to spend. So what I did was I would save, I would do that same thing every check, every check that was possible. Because some checks I would only get like 1600 And I had to pay other stuff off. I have a phone bill. I have, you know what I'm saying, bills like Spotify, Netflix, Hulu. I also got... Motherfucking, I got to pay my uncle rent. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to pay my mom the $1,000 too. It's it's like, bro, it wasn't simple. It wasn't that easy, but I made it work. I made it work and I was like, you know what? Nobody else is going to come save me. Nobody's going to buy me a car and nobody has to because that's nobody's fucking responsibility but me. I'm a grown man. I got to act like it, right? So I'm like, nah, nobody's going to come save me, bro. I got to save myself and my mom's out there struggling, bro. I got to help my mom's, bro. What the fuck is wrong with me, bro? As a man... As a man, you wrong if you don't pay your debts, nigga. You wrong, nigga. I'm going to say it right now, bro. You wrong. Pay your debts, bro. It's the least you can do, bro. It's the least you can do. I will not respect you if you come over here talking to me. I owe this nigga this much. I owe her that much. I owe him. So what the fuck you think I'm going to tell you when you ask me for five bucks, nigga? I'm not going to give it to you, nigga. Dumbass. Come on. But yeah, bro. Send my mom a rack every month. 
and continue that way till I left, except for November. November, I did not send her nothing. I sent her like seven hundred dollars November because it was rough. Man. I wasn't working, bro. I wasn't working. Like my boss cut me off. He let everybody else work because I was one of the newer guys. It was tough. And I'm not saying fuck that nigga, but fuck that shit he pulled, bro. Because he could have let me know earlier. I could have tucked my ass to Cali, nigga. Could have took my ass to Cali. I could have been working out here, nigga. Had enough money to buy my fucking siblings good ass Christmas presents, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's whatever, bro. Because I don't hold grudges like that. I don't. I really don't. I don't have no energy in my heart to hold grudges. I don't have no space in my heart or in my mind to hold grudges. I don't. But yeah. Yeah, I worked out there for a couple months. Some of my money and I saved up some money for myself. And yes, I was able to buy myself a car. I got myself a Honda Civic 2007 Coupe. A. Hey, it might not be brand new. It might not be off the lot. But it's paid off, nigga. Paid off. And it's all mine. Under my name. I love that shit. I love my car. Love my car so much. I have work to do to it, but hey, once it's built, it's gonna be built, not bought, baby. Built, not bought. I swear to God, my car gonna be beautiful. I love my car already to this day, bro. I love my car. But I'm very proud of myself. That's one thing I will say. I'm very, very proud of myself. But yeah, I bought a car, though. On a car. I wasn't able to pay off the whole 12k because if you think I'm gonna make 12k in five weeks, I'm not Bill Nye, nigga. Cause I can't do rocket science, my nigga. You buck. I'm not Bill Nye the science guy. I'm gonna be dead ass honest. If you think I can make, <laughs> but listen, crazy part. Imagine I wouldn't have sent my mom a thousand dollars every month. Imagine I would have just saved up the money to myself and bought myself with all the money I saved up a car, bro, bro. I would have some crazy right now. I don't worry about that though. I don't. And you, like Glorilla, like Glorilla said, bro. You think I'm worried about credit when I might be rich as fuck tomorrow? You think I'm worried about credit when I might be rich as fuck tomorrow? No, I don't give a fuck about no credit. Yes, I care about my credit. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna go out there fucking on my credit. I've been trying to build my credit up little by little out here. You know what I'm saying? But do you think I give a fuck about having my credit at 800 like Jimmy and Tommy, nigga? No, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm going to be rich one day, nigga. I'm going to be buying my house cash, nigga. I don't care. I don't. Come on. Come on. Silly. Niggas is silly. I'll tell you that much. But nah, yeah, bro. I had a realization out there. I was like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm going to just... I think I'm going to finish this one at like 30 minutes, bro. Because I'm not trying to make no hour-long video. Nobody going to watch this shit. I think I'll just make it like 30, fool. 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm going to have to edit this shit and stuff. I don't know. See, that's that's when a nigga gets lazy. That's when you don't want to do things. I'm not even going to edit it, bro. I'm just going to post it. I'm not even going to lie. I'm probably just going to post it. Because it takes so long to edit. And if I start editing and overthinking it, I'm going to start, bro. I promise you, I'm going to start doing all oh, this shit in my hand. Overthinking it. I'm not going to drop it. I'm telling myself I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to drop the video, nigga. I'm just going to post it, bro. I'll, I'll do an intro video once people start liking my shit. Once I pick up some fans, you feel what I'm saying? Once I get some recognition, I'll, I'll start putting work. I know it's always quantity quality over quantity i know it's always that way but right now i just need to push something out i need to give something i'm I'm just tired of not doing anything because i tell myself oh yeah i'm gonna make music i i love making music that's my passion that's my dream and i figured that out on washington too I'll, I'll get to that but i feel like i need a new video for that a different video because i don't want to be having 45 minute long videos and i have so much to talk about so much to talk about i swear to god like we haven't even talked about my third eye we haven't even talked about about my spirituality about we haven't even talked about how i feel about the world the situation in the world the matrix we haven't even touched on that yet you know what i'm saying we haven't touched on a lot of things there's a lot to touch on a lot i have a lot to talk about a lot and i have a lot to learn still but yeah yeah i just feel like i can't spit everything on here right now because it's too much bro i'm not trying to have no hour-long videos yeah bro that's that, bro. I'm back from Washington. I'm in California now, and I'm just going to drop this. This is going to be my first video back, reviving this YouTube channel. I'm going to be somebody. You're hearing it from me right now, and I don't care what the world thinks. I'm going to be dead honest. This is the mindset I adopted in Washington. I'm untouchable now. I'm indestructible, invincible, and I will do whatever I want to do because I can. Because it's in my heart. 
because it's in my mind and because I have the possibility to do it. Because I know God wouldn't have put this shit in my soul if it wasn't for a reason, bro. I'm going to be dead ass honest with y'all right now. A lot of y'all don't have the confidence that I have. And I'm not flexing that shit, bro. Because it was a gift from God. God gave me this unwilling confidence. This impregnable confidence. Nobody can stop me. Not even my own mother. If my mother were to walk in the room and tell me right now, you're crazy and you will not blow up and you will not make millions and you will not be rich and you will not get fame and you will not be that guy that you think you will be in your head, I wouldn't give three fucks because the whole world is going to say that. I don't give a fuck. The only thing I do give a fuck is about being 50 years old talking about some damn nigga. Remember back when I was 18, a loud enough motherfucker and was really down to try? You think I would have been able to make it? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be 50 years old having a midlife crisis, 60 years old regretting my life, 40 years old hating what I do, 30 years old wishing I would have tried, 20 years old wishing I would have started at 18. Because I told my uncle and I'll tell y'all the same thing. I'd rather start right now that I'm young, fresh, and full of fire than start when I'm 25 wishing I would have started earlier. Because right now if I start, imagine where I'll be when I'm 25. And I have that type of patience. And I have that type of patience because I promise you, I know it takes time. I know shit don't happen overnight. And I know it's all a process. But this is me planting my first seed to grow my tree. This is me. And nobody's going to stop me. Because I've been saying it since I was out in Washington. I talked to my cousin Julio about it left and right. I'm coming. Rod Wave talked about it. He said, somebody going to listen to me, boy. Somebody going to watch me. And they're going to be like, I can do it too. Why? Because he did it. So I can do it too. Somebody come in and it's me. I'm coming. I'm going to be somebody. You can look me in my eyes and I promise you I ain't lying about that shit. I'm going to be somebody. This is my first podcast of many. First video of many. And just wait. Because I'm going to change this world. I really am and I believe it with my whole heart. And I don't just believe it. I know I'm going to do it. Because that's the difference. I don't just dream and hope that I get lucky. I dream and I know that I'm going to achieve it. I know I am. And I don't care what the world thinks anymore. That's the most important part. That's why most of y'all are stuck in nine to fives. That's why most of y'all gave up all y'all dreams. That's why most of y'all don't remember what you really are passionate about. That's why most of y'all are unhappy right now. Because you are really afraid of what people think. I don't care. There's billions of people in the world. There's hundreds of people out there who will support me, bruh. And not just that, but there's hundreds of people out there who will fucking hate my guts. And I don't care. I don't care about any of it, bro. I don't care who's praying on my downfall. I don't care who thinks I can't do it or can do it. I don't care. I don't. I don't, bro. The only thing I care about is me right now. And my life and the impact I'm going to have on the world. And when I'm talking about the world, that includes everybody. I'm trying to make an impact for my family. I'm trying to break generational curses. I'm trying to live the life that I see in my head. I have a vision. And I've come to peace with the fact that nobody has that same vision as me. Because God gave it to me for a reason. And nobody will ever see it. Unfortunately. Not my friends. Not my mom. Not my brother. Nobody will ever see my vision or have my vision. Or even think that I can possibly do the things that I have in my mind. I understand that and I'm okay with that now. Completely okay. I'm coming. I'm going to be somebody huge. So come back and watch this video. Five years from now. Three years from now. Shit, even one year from now. 2023, I'm grinding all year, boy. And I don't care if I don't blow up 2023. I ain't no cocky nigga. And I ain't no nigga that's going to be like, 2023 is my year. I'm going to blow up my year. Nigga, because this shit might age like milk. It might. But I promise you. Me talking to you right now, this shit going to age finer than wine. I'm going to be somebody. And I'm going to do something huge with my life. And y'all going to remember me when I blow the fuck up. And y'all going to come and be like, oh, he fake. He, he, he definitely not real. Or this nigga paid for that shit. Or this nigga sold his soul. Or this nigga did that. I will never sell my soul. My soul is priceless and can't nobody touch that. Nobody. When you leave this life, what do you think you leave with? Your body? No, this is physical. What do you think you are? You think I would give somebody my fucking soul to suffer for eternity? For 
a couple hundred years for a, a couple, not even hundred years. My bad. And then maybe just like thirty years of fucking living good. You're bugging on that. They're bugging on that. And I know I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous to this world, to those motherfuckers who are in charge. They don't want niggas like me. They don't want woken niggas like me. They don't want angry niggas like me who have shit to say, who want to change things, who want to do something about it and bust down these motherfucking walls. They don't want niggas like me. But it's all good because I'm on the way. I'm coming. They can't take all of us out. They can't. They took my nigga Pac. They took my nigga X. They almost got that nigga Andrew. My nigga. They taking us out left and right, bro. Look at these independent artists, how they levels be how these labels be doing them, fool. Really look into the niggas that really be getting smoked, bro. Look into JFK getting smoked, my nigga. Really look into this world secrets, bro. Because you are all blinded right now. And I'm not saying everybody, but the people that this resonates with, you're blind. You're blind right now, and you're being fucking controlled like a puppet. You're programmed. And I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. I'm probably still programmed to an extent, but I'm breaking free. And this video is one step forward of it, my nigga. One step forward. I'm telling you, I'm planting my seed. I'm going to be here for a good time and a long time. I promise you. And niggas, if you see me right now, and I told you, I just said it. I want to be a musician, right? Musician. Don't confuse me for no rapper, you silly ass niggas. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> I'm not a rapper. Don't confuse me for that shit. Musician. Artist. I want to produce. I want to engineer. I want to make beats. I want to make my own music. I want to create my own music with my own talent. I want to learn instruments. I want to take singing classes and learn how to sing. And yes, at the same time, I will rap, nigga, because I can rap, nigga, because I can freestyle. And no, I ain't Kendrick. I ain't no Kendrick Lamar, nigga. No, I ain't no goddamn Eminem, bro. But I can freestyle, bro. I can spit. I can write. So I'm a write. And I might not even just write from, I might not even just only write for myself, I might write for other people too in the future. Shit, don't be surprised when you see me 10 years from now and I'm not only doing podcasts, but I'm doing podcasts, streaming video games, making music, creating music videos. Why? Because I want to do it all. And who's going to stop me? Nobody but me, nigga. Nobody can stop me but me. If I put the work in, who will stop me? Nobody. Nobody. And look, people are going to laugh now, and that's okay, bro. They have every right to laugh. I, would, shit, I wouldn't laugh at a nigga like me talking crazy like me. Honestly, I would say what's up to the dude and shake his hand because he has a like a likewise mindset. I'm looking for people like me. I'm looking for people who think like me. I'm looking for people who are on my level right now. Because I feel like I'm up here, and niggas don't want to come up here. And I'm going to keep going up, and the more up I go, niggas ain't going to want to follow. I know it already. I know it already, bro. I don't care if anybody believes in me or not. I believe in me and God believes in me. That is enough. But I'm not a nigga of words. This is probably the only time y'all gonna hear me talk my shit till I have a reason to talk my shit. But I'm just saying it because this is the first video now. I'm gonna be someone. Edward James Gomez, remember the name. Some of y'all might already know me. Some of y'all might already know me, but for y'all that don't, y'all gonna know me. And y'all gonna remember me. And for the people that already know me, I'm finna blow y'all fucking minds. Remember that. Laugh now. Think that shit's capped now. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I don't give two fucks. Or three or four or five, nigga. I don't. I don't, nigga. You would think I'm fucking a baby wipe the way I get rid of all this shit, nigga. I don't care. I don't, nigga. Just remember me when I do blow up, bro. I swear to God. Y'all don't think much of me now. You can doubt as much as you want. But it don't matter, bro. And like I told my brother the other day, do whatever you want, bro. Somebody gonna like it. Somebody gonna love it, bro. Somebody gonna fuck with you, bro. Before you watch DJ Ghost... Somebody fucked with DJ Ghost when he had no subs, nigga. 
before you fucked with Tiger. Okay, maybe not Tiger. Nobody fucks with Tiger, nigga. Nobody fucks with Tiger. Okay, but before you fucked with Drake, nigga, nobody fucked with Drake. Nobody listened to him and nobody knew who this nigga was besides this nigga mom and his homies. Before you fucked with Steve Lacey, I wish I knew. Nobody knew who this nigga was. Nobody. Nobody. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying, bro. The world is for takes, nigga. It's up for grabs, my nigga. And life is a lie as we know it. I said I was going to cut it at 30. I guess 40 the number, bro. But I'm putting this shit out. And shout out to everybody who watches this shit. If they do watch this shit, whoever got this far... Me and you are going to go places. If you got this far, I will never forget you. I will never forget you. And I appreciate you for even coming this far. I appreciate you for listening. I appreciate whoever listened. Shout out to God. Shout out to my family. Shout out to love. Spread love. Positivity only always. And shit. I'll see you guys soon. No cap. Peace out.